Hi, I'm Clara. As you know, I did a complete tutorial of SEPCAD and Tube Pro. If you didn't watch them, please click the link up here. Today we are going to introduce the solutions for the problem motion card not detected. SEPCAD will run in demo mode. Have you ever encountered such issue? You can't miss today's video. Please get it through. I will make it into four conditions and tell you about the corresponding solution for each. You can click the link below in the description to have a tour to my Alibaba store. If you are first time here, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a like. Thank you. When we start up the subcard and the box prompts out, it shows motion card not detected. Subcard will run in demo mode. And to get into the software, it shows it's in demo. If we meet such issue, first, we need to check whether the PC has detected the motion card. We should right click on my computer and click manage and then click device manager. After this step, we may encounter four situations and we'll explain them one by one. But it doesn't rule out that there will be situations that are not covered by the content of today's video. If you encounter it, please leave a comment below and we can think of a solution together. First, we can find a PCI device with an exclamation mark. This means that the driver is not installed properly. If it's a newly installed Windows system, we need to use the driver detection tool to detect whether the computer driver is installed normally. If this problem occurs while the machine is in use, we need to try to reinstall the software and check the driver installation. The second situation. If we can find a motion control card with an exclamation mark, it means that the driver installation is abnormal. We need to right click on it to uninstall the driver, then download the correct corresponding version and reinstall it. If it's 1204 or 1205 motion control card, Please download and install the 658.10 version SEPCAD software. For other versions, please click the link in the description to download and install the latest version of SEPCAD from the official website. In the third case, if we can find the motion control and prove that the driver and the software are in normal state but the demo mode appears, then contact the supplier and it needs to analyze specific issues. In the fourth case, we cannot find the motion control card or PCI device. In this case, we need to check whether the indicator lights of the motion control card flash normally. Note that the motion control card here is not the terminal block, but installed inside the computer. SEPCAD 1000 is BMC 1603, SEPCAD 2000C is BMC 1604. Therefore, this means that we need to disassemble the computer screen and check whether the indicator lights of the motion control card are blinking normally. At this point, we also need to divide into three situations. The first one, the LED indicator flashes alternately, which means that the motion control card is working normally and we need to wipe and clean the PCI card slot with alcohol. If the above step cannot solve the problem, we need to consider replacing the PCI slot or the computer. Second case, if the two LED indicators are not flashing, it can be judged that the motion control card is damaged and contact the supplier. Third, if the two LED indicators flash four times and once alternately, there is a high possibility that the motion control card is disturbed by static electricity. 
and we can solve it by upgrading. Here I will introduce an upgrade method of BMC 1604 motion control card. Here, please pay attention to compare the version of your own motion control card. If it is 1605 motion control card, you need use the corresponding upgrade files BM 5.AFM and BM 5.FFM. Sometimes the firmware of the BMC 1604 card is updated after update the subcard. When encountering abnormal conditions such as interference and static electricity, the firmware of the control card may be lost. Upgrading with the USB stick is a quick and detective solution. Proceed it as follows. Step 1. Find a U-disk and format it as FET or FAT32. Step 2. Under the subcat installation directory, default C program files, Frenis subcat, there is a driver's detectory. Copy the two files bmc.afm and bmc.ffm in the driver directory to the U-disk. Step 3. Unplug the USB flash drive and shut down the PC safely. Open the back cover of the PC and insert the U-disk into the USB interface on the BMC1604 card. Then power on the PC. At this time, the BMC1604 card will automatically upgrade, and the LED will not flash during the upgrade process. After the upgrade, the two LEDs will flash at the same time. This process generally doesn't exceed one minute. Step 4. Unplug the U-disk, shut down the PC safely, then turn on the PC power button. Be careful not to restart the computer directly. Step 5. After the PC starts up, Observe whether the LED status is alternately flushing. One flush, one flush. If yes, the upgrade was successful. Do you get a video today? I hope you can click the share button below and let me help more friends who are in searching free and practical knowledge of FabLaser Carting Machine. Thank you for your support. It's a great motive to allow me to do more for you. Please don't forget to subscribe me if you are new and if you still have the time, stick around and check one more video. See you next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Bye!